After you download the config tool in your downloads folder, double click on it and it will unpack an installation file or application file. Click on the file. If you get this message saying something about a developer not recognized, hit cancel. Go under system preferences on your Mac, go to security, and then you want to hit this open anyway. Click open. Hit allow. And it will search for cameras on your network. If you're seeing this, that means you're on the same network as the camera or NVR you're trying to add. If you don't see it, that means you're not on the same network and there's an issue with your networking or you have multiple routers or you have a firewall blocking this config tool from sniffing the device or devices on your network. That's something you'll have to figure out on your own. But if you allow this tool to work in a proper environment and you're on the same network, you'll get a listing like this. Click on search settings, put in the password of the camera you want to change the IP address on, for example. So I'm entering my password and then hit OK. Another thing is if you also know you're on a different segment than what the camera is on, you can hit this other segment search and put in the other segment you want to search the IP addresses on. For example, I'm on a 10.0.4.1 network. I could put in 192.168.1.1 .1 .1 to 254 to search that segment as well. But I don't have any devices to show you on that. It's still 10.0. So not only does it search my own native segment that the computer is on, but also other segments as well. The most important thing was putting in the password here. Otherwise, if you put in the wrong password, you won't be able to access the camera and change its IP address in this next step. Here on this camera, for example, I'm just going to change the IP address arbitrarily to 10.0. So I put in that IP address. That's what I want to change it to. And here I'm putting in the subnet. And the gateway, the gateway is always the router's IP address. It gives me a check mark. It says it, that means it's successful. So I hit search again. And here it is, that 40 IP address camera disappeared and now it's 55. I'm going to change it again. Put it back to what it was. Gives me a check mark. It's back to dot 40. That's how you change the IP address of a camera from Avalonics using your Mac. Here is my About Mac section here. I'm on Monterey. It's an Intel-based Mac from 2016. It works fine. So if it's not working for you for some reason, it has to do with your Mac or networking environment, or you're not even on the same network as the camera. If you need additional assistance, feel free to purchase a networking session from CCTV Camera World to troubleshoot issues with your networking environment. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.